What are the different types of battles that take place in Dagger Hero? Really, it depends on how creative the Herald is, because you can you can turn anything into a battle. You've got bridge battles where you pretend you're on a river and there's a bridge going across it and you have to get to the other side of the bridge through the enemy. There's orc football, you have unit battles, you have uh, field battles where you just take everyone and split them into two groups and then they fight. Uh, you have cutthroat where everyone fights for themselves, kind of a death match. But uh, yeah, it really depends on the Herald what pops into his head at the time. Who exactly is the Herald and where do they rank in Dagger here? There's not necessarily a ranking system in Dagger here. The units might have their own ranks within that unit, but all a Herald really is a person who's certified to run the battles, make sure that everything is done safely so that no one's injured. They're the ones that will take care of people that might be getting too into it. You know, they pull them aside, tell them, okay, you sit out of battle, just calm down. That's basically what they do. As veteran fighters, do you have any advice for the newcomers? Ask lots of questions. The, vet, the vets may get mad at you because you seem annoying, but they've been around, they know the tips, they know the tricks. They've, they were once in your shoes and they know generally the best way for someone to go about doing things. I would say probably the best thing you can do is um, find the person on the field that looks like they know what they're doing and fight them. Just go up and fight them until their arm gets tired of killing you because that's really the only way you're going to get better. The battlefield is a place where friends and enemies are made and unforgettable memories are formed. My favorite battle moment in uh, 2002, I normally fight as an elf. Just getting back into it, I'm starting to get more and more costuming, but I used to have ears like Cyrilize. I had, uh, I went up against a guy named Sir Keg. He's a pretty big dagger here. He's been fighting for a long time, knows what he's doing. He came after me and I was backpedaling and I was doing pretty good and then he came across and he ripped off my ear with his flail and sent it flying into the woods. Now those are spirit glued on. It's like if you took duct tape and ripped it off of your ear. So that was pretty funny. We go to a, an event called Ragnarok in the, at the end of June. It's a week long of fighting. Greatest week in my life. We were fighting this scenario called Urban Assault, where they just had obstacles up over the place. They had towers, they had walls, so it was like you were going through a city, and there were three different teams. I had a torn ACL at the time, so I couldn't go into melee. All I was doing was archery, and I had to stay back from the front line, and I was running around looking for arrows. I reached down for one, and this other guy is going it for it at the same time. And then I said, oh, I, I, I gotta get one, I'm out of him. And he said, oh, okay. So he starts running around again, and I realize he's getting him for one of the, the tower archers. Her name is uh, Sergeant Twinkle. And he grabs one, and I say, oh, no, no, if you're getting him for Twinkle, just give this to her. And he goes to give it to her and says, no, Cyril A. And I look up at her, she's in the tower, and she says, I will give up my arrows for you. Give her that arrow. <laughs> it really hadn't occurred to me how people had known me. I thought I was just fighting, and I was just another face in the crowd, but then she knew me and she knew what I was doing. Dagger here can be as real as you want it to be. Every aspect of the game is created entirely by the player's hands and imagination. A lot of people will come in and they see elaborate armor and it looks kind of intimidating for some people but a lot of the stuff that we bring to the field you can make yourself and I think that's one of the more fun aspects of Dagger here is seeing what you can make for yourself to actually use out on the field. Dagger here realized that it is just a game and besides having fun they expand their values from the realm into the real world. Dagger here isn't all about combat. I've started a unit that's trying to bridge the gap between Dagger here and the real world where I mean, we have people in Dagger here who are willing to go all out to help their fighters, help their chapter, start events, but why can't they do stuff in the real world too, like uh, start neighborhood watch programs or volunteer at a 
local homeless shelters. People want to escape to this world, but they just don't want to improve the world that we have now. And that's what I'm trying to get away from. When you come out to this fictional battlefield, you see more than just people in costumes having fun. You see passion, you see dedication, you see valor and honor. These people not only do this for the love of J.R. Tolkien's books, they do it to bring exhilarating joy into their lives, to live outside of their daily jobs and routines. Dagger here creates friendships, builds character, and teaches them extraordinary life lessons. If you want to become the best at something, you just have to put your nose to the grindstone until you're there. You can't be afraid to fail, because if you're afraid to fail, then you're never going to learn how to succeed.